What is up, Barclay family? It's Nathan here. Um, we are going to talk about the throttle cable on the electric to gas Go Bowen go kart. So that was something I was trying to figure out when I first got it. Like, how am I going to hook it up? How am I going to make it seamless? And um, I'll show you kind of how I did it. Um, I'm going to probably end up changing how I did it on this one, but um, for now, this will work. And if you're trying to just get it rolling, um, I basically just went to the big box store, you know, Walmart grabbed a bicycle cable. And on this end, I just took a random bracket I had laying around and I bolted it through there, as you can see, with nuts on the backside. And so when you press that down, your throttle cable is run along the chassis here, up, 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 and in. So on this end, you just take some wire snips, cut the end of it off, run it through that part on the Predator motor. And then when you actually depress the gas pedal, there you go, it functions. So pretty simple, literally just a bracket I had, drilled a couple holes in the stock location of the stock electric pedal, and then drilled a hole on the bracket there, pulled the line out. So I actually pulled this part out of the tube. I used just a clamp to hold it on the chassis there, and boom, you have a gas pedal. Functions great, super simple, no big deal. Um, and then <laughs> the gas tank, not terribly proud of how I did that. Basically, I just used a flat piece of steel bolted it to the underside, there's the two bolts there, and then made a bracket right there and bolted that on. It is exceedingly sturdy, but uh, yeah, it works. It is what it is. Um, you know, it's it's a couple hundred dollar upgrade and trying to keep it somewhat affordable, but thing turned out awesome and man, does it fly. And again, on this, we're running the stock number 35 chain, N number 35 chain, that the, the go-kart came with off the electric motor. Um, and then we have a 12 tooth sprocket running on the stock gear that came with the electric cart again. So as much stock that I could reuse, I did. I hope this is helpful. I hope that's gonna answer quite a few questions because I've been getting inundated with people asking um, how we did it and how hard it was. Honestly, it only took a few hours to swap the whole thing over. Um, you know, probably 20, 30 minutes of troubleshooting some bugs that it had, but, um, it, it turned out good. It did. Um, both of them are cruising now. We'll be getting some video content. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in us doing upgrades, like some of the more inexpensive mods you could do, like the carb kit and the exhaust kit and all those. Um, is that something you guys would be interested in seeing? Maybe comparing the two different carts, one against the other? Any hoot, let me know. There's our Go Bowen gas powered 224 Harbor Freight Predator motor. So, there it is, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.